in today's tutorial, we're going to recreate this cool smear wave effect to make your photos look more engaging in Adobe After Effects. And as always, if you want the template for this, where you can just drag in your photos and readjust some things, the template should be in our Patreon, along with all our other templates for the members. Now the first thing I want to do is I want to isolate the picture in Adobe After Effects. And then I'm just going to save it as a PNG. And then I'm going to drag it in Adobe After Effects. And then let me make a new comp with it by dragging it in here. And so far we have this. Now what I'm going to do is I want to hit Command D to duplicate it. And then I'm going to right click and pre-compose this image. Click OK. And then I'm going to go into the pre-comp. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pre-comp this once again. So I'm going to right click, pre-comp again. And then when I go into site this comp, I'm going to click right here, Command K. And what this does is it's going to help us adjust the size right here. And the width, I want it to be 200. And I want this to be 1080 right here. And then I want to fill up this whole box with the color I want to have the wave. Now after this box is filled up, I want to go back to the previous comp. I like hitting tab on my keyboard and it goes straight to the previous one. And here it is right here. Now I'm going to scale this down and I'm just going to throw this all the way to the edge of the screen right here. And then when I go to effects and preset, I'm just going to type in wave uh, warp and I'm just going to drag this on it. And then for the height right here, I'm just going to adjust this all the way to around like 80 something. And then I'm just going to put my anchor point right here. How to move your anchor point is I usually hit Y on my keyboard or you could go up here. But I'm just going to drag it right there. And then when I hit this tool, I'm just going to drag this all the way out here. Now you can see the edges up here. It's like cut off. And one way to fix that is just go into the comp right here. And now I'm going to pre-comp this one once again. This is like the third time. And then I'm just going to scale this down like all the way right here. And then if I go back, it should be fixed. See before and after. Now let me drag this back here. Maybe stretch it out a little longer. Now so far we should have something like this. And this is moving way too fast. So for the wave speed, I like to set this at 0. Five, and we can adjust the wave height if we want, maybe make it a little smaller, around 32. Now, after you're happy with your wave warp right here, let's go back to the first comp. I'm going to drag it under the photo. I'm going to click on my pen tool, and I'm just going to mask out right here. And then if I want the wave to be fading out, I'm just going to do this right here. And then I'm going to hit F on my keyboard, and I'm going to adjust the feather like that. Now, if we want to adjust the colors, let's say I want some more yellow right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just go down through the comps until I'm at the first one right here. And I'm going to duplicate this, Command D. And I'm going to make sure I want some yellow in there for the shoe, like this. And then if I go back to my photo, here we have the shoe looking thing. And if you don't like this down here, it's a little off, or maybe it's up here off, I like to click on here. Go to the effects and presets and type in corner pin. And I'm just going to drag it on my wave. And we can adjust this however we want. We even can do timestamps to adjust it every time. But for this video, I'm just going to put it like this. Now maybe I want some more black up here. So I'm going to go back through the comp to change the color layer. Bring his head down a bit. And here we have that. We'll fix that. Now to add a background, I'm just going to add a solid right here. And then go in here and I'm going to type in gradient ramp, drag it on. And then I'm going to set the opacity to like 50%. And there we have it, how to do the smear wave effect. And remember, all our templates are in our Patreon and the link in this description.